Yeah, I, uh, I wanted to be in the NBA when I was uh, a kid. My, my mom actually squashed that dream at nine. She's like, Adam, the NBA, but sweetheart, th but there are no Jews in the NBA. <laughs> Good luck with that, you dumb, dumb, happy birthday, go to bed. <laughs> Just a power slam of honesty at nine. I had even had double digits, already putting a kibosh on the fantasy, which seemed uh, fucked up from my perspective. And then I grow up and become an adult, and I'm like, oh, she was right. There are no Jews in the NBA. <laughs> Bummer, but the harsh reality of the situation. You've never turned on any NBA game and seen Kevin Durant leafing through a Torah at halftime. Uh, no sweaty yarmulkes are flopping onto the court. No commentator during any NBA game has ever been like, Rosenbaum for three! <laughs> what a shot. Weinstein at the line for two free throws. You know how he loves those. He really <laughs> take his time with this shot. He doesn't have to pay for it. <laughs> that was good too, man. I probably peaked in the sixth grade. I had excellent court vision. A sweet jumper. I was a little fatty though, I was a little fat fuck. But I was quick fat, you know. <laughs> yeah, quick fat is a term that I came up with that basically explains why every 10, 20, 45 years there comes along a fat kid that just, you know, defies the laws of gravity. I was uh, just as swift as all the skinny kids. I just smelled like Pop-Tarts and mac and cheese when I sweat, you know? <laughs> My coach was like, you're the most delicious defender of all time. He called me Krispy Kreme Abdul-Jabbar. That's not a healthy nickname. <laughs> Here's a problem. <laughs> NBA is my favorite sport, though. Man, they got, uh, they got so much uh, extra stimulation. You know, they recognize you need more than just the game in front of you to keep you entertained. Kiss Cam, that's one of the greatest forms of free entertainment this country has ever come up with. Are you kidding me? Like, it's, there's something for everybody. They span the gamut. Every age range is covered. They'll start off slow with a couple in, like, their 80s or 90s, and as soon as they put them up on the Jumbotron, everyone just... You know, applause, just like, holy shit, how did you, you know, get outside, you know? And, uh, right, and then the, uh, the old gal's like, give me a smooch, and he's like, who are you? Like, and then they'll cut to a couple, uh, you know, prepubescent, seventh, eighth grade, and this little too cool for school punk ass kid isn't ready to show publicly the amount of affection he's got for the girl he brought, right? So he's just like, uh, 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 right? Yeah, real inappropriate. Then they'll cut away to a couple that has no business kissing whatsoever. And that's my favorite. Usually like a uh, brother-sister combination. Yeah, and they can't defend themselves because they're muted on the Jumbotron. So they're just like, oh, no, no, we're related. We can't do this. And the whole stadium's like, we don't give a shit. We paid for this incest. Act like you grew up together. 